Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Look at this slew of cowboys. We're all cowgirls and cowboys. My posse. <laughs> you know, it got interesting then. You know what happened earlier today? From the Circle K Ranch up the road, they, mm -hmm. they knew that we were having company yeah. And, yeah, and they knew that we were having chicken. And did you know that they sent some robbers over to try to steal our chicken? What? What? Oh yeah. What? The Circle K Ranch down, you know, down the road. You know who, you know who, you know who. Funny. But that's funny. Yeah, but yeah, what that is. happened is, you know who owns the Circle K Ranch? Who? Glenn, Glenn, the Glenn? Pepper Bandit. No the way. The Pepper Bandit wanted to come steal our chicken because he knew it was going to have plenty of pepper on it. Oh. So anyhow, here's the deal. We had to go to the store. Oh, wait a minute. No, it wasn't the store. We had to go to the prairie because we're cowboys. That's right. So I prairie. gathered my posse. So I told you we needed some prairie chickens, right? So, and I told you I needed, we needed some wild celery. Mm -hmm. So we stormed through the desert. Yeah, you're so right there. We found the celery. We did. We found the prairie chicken. She found the prairie chicken. She did. Made she did a great good. shot right mm -hmm. in front, right in front of the frozen foods. Oh, good job. Great shot. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we got that taken care of. Then we got on our covered wagon. I saw that. And we rode into the sunset. That. that was a little bit scary. It was a little bit scary. <laughs> That mule we had was not going very fast. You know, you had a lot of people watching you ride that. That's true. It's yeah. kind of <laughs> but anyway, we got it done. So we now what we're going to do, oh, I, I guess I should explain why everybody's here. Why are you here this weekend? For my uncle's and aunt's wedding. Nick and Vic. Now, this is not a normal show because we have to show what's actually going on in our life. We don't plan anything. We don't script yeah. anything. It is nine o'clock at sauce. night. Yep, it's nine o'clock at night, and we're just starting dinner. That's right. So we know that there are four adults eating, and two of my posse over here. That's right. So we got about I nine pieces of chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna eat two. We got nine pieces of chicken. We got potatoes. We, we're gonna do a one-pot dish. Yum. Okay, so a couple Christmases ago, if people don't know who Nick and Vic is, Nick is our son, mm -hmm. and Victrola. They met in Michigan. That's right. Now they're in Franklin, Tennessee and they're getting married. Here is the proposal. It was actually on our show. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Did you see Santa Claus today? Yeah. I see carrots. Oh, I see He's carrots. He's hungry. I He's see carrots, carrots too, and we're going to have some in a minute. <laughs> but here's a little bit of the proposal that actually took place right up at the cabin, and Santa Claus is there to see it. Remember, he promised you something today because you're such a good ring bearer. <gasps> he did? Yeah. Does that mean you love me? <laughs> Baby. What? I love you more than anything in this world. What? Would you marry me? Is this real? This is real. Yes. Are you serious? This is yes. real. Yes! <laughs> Are you for real? 100% for real. Yes! <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. So what I want to do tonight is I want to get this going quick. So what I'm doing over here on the fire is I've already got probably about 40 ounces of broth, and I've already got it hot. I've got chicken broth. Remember. Your vegetables are going to cook in a liquid in this particular dish. I'm going to build a frame. Don't cook them in liquid. Oh, we're cooking them in liquid. We're going to take our celery, our carrots, our potatoes, our onion, and our broccoli. We're going to step it up. You know how we got tender foot and we work our way up the That's chain? Right. This is pretty advanced. We're not going to okay. use any charcoal tonight. Okay. We're going to take bits and pieces of okay. logs that have already gotten hot and we're going to put that on top. Okay. We're going to get this stuff hot because we've got to cook it in a short amount of time. Because we're all starving. Tired. We're all starving. So here's what we're going to do, Mrs. Farmer. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Oil and I'm going to set that off to the side. All right, so I got my chicken out here already. Tell you what I'm going to do. I like the flavor in the celery leaves. This part of the celery. Now, this is what we're going to do here. That's what we're going to use right there for flavor and for our makeshift rack. Set that aside, we can use that for other stuff, Grandma, can't we? Like That's right. peanut butter. How many yeah. like these? Do you like broccoli, guys? I do. This is gonna be part of my rack. 
Cheers. But it's also gonna be part of our dinner. Hey, look at this. What am I gonna do with this stuff? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Take care of that. The dogs are gonna eat it. It's the dogs cool might dog. eat it. Look at yeah, that. They're gonna eat it all. So I'm cutting my broccoli up into bite-sized pieces. Because we don't want to have huge monster pieces. <laughs> Put that one back there. All right, we're, so we got our celery, we got our broccoli. Can me and Sam want one? You want one raw? They want to throw one. They want to throw it. Oh, you want to throw it over your shoulder? All right, get rid of the broccoli. You, you throw it over your shoulder. See where it goes. Woo! Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> That's we'll the get wagon. that one later. And That's then we're going to chop us an onion. That'll be part of our onion. Chop our onion. No, I'm going to keep the knives over here. I've got the, I've got chop control onion. of the knives. Nice now I'm going to cut these in just big old slabs like this. Now, Sammy what? saw Santa Claus today. Santa he Claus. Did. The real, the real Santa Claus. We saw him today. Is actually going to perform the ceremony There's tomorrow. There's one more left. One more left. I think I'm only gonna use this much. I'm excited to be the flower girl. You're the flower girl. I wanted to be the flower girl, but they would not let me. <laughs> I don't know why. You'd be a cute You're flower, the flower girl. girl. I'm not the flower You're girl. The flower girl. girl. You're the flower girl. So we're gonna take flowers. these carrots. We got some great big carrots. We're gonna cut them <laughs> up. You know what, girl. Mrs. Farmer? Yes. I might have you split those down the middle. Okay. Good. And then I'm gonna move this out of here. Split them down the middle and cut them up into sm some smaller pieces. That's yeah. Good. Watch your fingers. That's Beautiful. Good. Now the whole deal is here. The whole deal is here, we're gonna try to cook this in the shortest amount of time as possible. We got our liquids already hot. That's gonna bring our cooking time down. Now think about how long it takes to cook vegetables and, and use a lot of common sense here. But what I'm gonna do with this particular dish is I'm gonna get more heat on the top because I want, I want to brown that chicken. I'm raising it up using the vegetables that will be in, obviously, the liquids. One more thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of white wine because chicken broth coffee. and white, you got a question, what's your question? question. What is it? Carrots in the sauce. Yes. That'll be yum. Okay. That'll be yum. <laughs> Carrots in the sauce will be that absolutely would be outstanding. Yum. That would be yum. Yeah. Hey, did we get wood? Did we get wood today? Yeah. And we started the fire, didn't we? You boys did. Did you too. help me put did you help me put the fire on? Yeah. You did a good job too, didn't you? Yeah, he's a cowboy. Okay, so we're gonna take some Chardonnay, Nikki. I like Chardonnay. I'm gonna put, that's probably one third of a cup. Oh. Now, somebody says, well, I don't do alcohol. That's well, that's just fine, that will cook out. That's for the flavor. What a wonderful flavor that adds. We're gonna cheat and put some chicken bouillon cubes in. What's that do? You get a more stocky, salty taste. And then we're gonna put some pepper straight from the Yepa. pepper mines from the Circle K Ranch where Glenn hangs out right up the road. I'm not gonna need much salt because I've got the, all that going on yeah. with the bouillon. I'm gonna put some thyme, okay? Very important in this thyme. recipe. I've got nothing but thyme on my head. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You smell it's that, Mr. Farmer? It smells really good. Like I'll take it. Okay, so keep in mind, our water's already hot. Our vegetables are cut up fairly small. We got small potatoes so they cook quicker. I'm gonna go ahead and lay some of my celery in here. Yum. That's mainly for flavor. I'm gonna take, you know what? We got mushrooms. And if you, people don't like mushrooms, you can pick them out. Taryn loves mushrooms. Taryn loves mushrooms. <laughs> I love mushrooms. Then we're gonna do some broccoli. Yeah, I do. So this is a whole meal in a pan. And then we could come back, Mrs. Farmer. Yum. With if carrots? we chose to do so, we could make some carrots. homemade bread. Oh yeah. And you know, when, you, when you're doing your homemade bread, you can add things like rosemary, Basil, all kinds of wonderful flavors. We like carrots, everybody loves carrots. We do. So what am I doing here? I'm keeping, I'm adding all my wonderful stuff in here. Why I'm gonna sink some that? potatoes down in here. All right, we're starving back here. Okay, I'm putting my onion chunks in. Now remember, we did a recipe not too long ago. It was one of your favorite ribs recipes. It was good. And this was more of a, oh, oh they cooked and they cooked and they cooked on top of those onions. So good. Let me pull it for you and then I'll let you get the rest. Here. So he's still working on his... He's still working on his he has, he has a hobby. Yeah. A long-lasting hobby. So we keep on, we add as much as we want. We make sure it's fairly submerged. We're coming back. Now we got plenty, plenty of liquid in here. We've probably got 64 ounces. Papa, there's one. He's got one for oh, you. Oh, you almost got it. That's here. amazing. Here, Papa. Cool. You did a great job on that. Thank put you so much. There. I'll put Perfect. it right in there. Yay, good job. So, Mrs. Farmer, look. What do you think? We got enough fire. vegetables in here, need a few more. Okay. Where are we gonna put the chicken in? I'll show you. That's the top secret. 
part. Let's see how many thighs we can fit in a 12 inch pan. Now tonight we got a good fire going. We're gonna pull up, not to the hottest part, but we're gonna get this boiling. We're gonna get this hot. We're gonna cook these vegetables. And on top, I'm gonna to put extra chunks of coal to brown this chicken and get it Yum. done. And then the chicken juice so will be in there. All that steam's yum. moving around and the juices from the chicken is settling down in there and then you got something worth eating here in a little while. That'll be yum. Oh yeah, it'll be yum. I was just thinking the same exact thing. Hour, maybe an hour. Now where's Lindsay and Justin? The parents, okay. they need to come up here for a minute and let their faces <gasps> be seen. Lindsay and Justin. All right, now I, I, I just gotta say something about this cat over here. Kelly. He just happens to be a Marine, hoorah. He just happens to be a first Get responder. Who, uh, thank you very much for what Get you do. And he works very hard and does a great job. Mom over here works very hard and does a great job. Three wonderful kids. They have raised wonderfully. One of them's in school right now. She couldn't make it. Natalie, the oldest. But these two cats right here are out of control cowboys. Look at them. So thanks y'all for coming down. They want to eat. For being good parents and having us wonderful grandbabies. That's right. So we're going to take these pieces of chicken. Now remember, this is the rack, OK? Oh. This is the rack. Yum. Oh. And watch what happens here. The vegetables are the rack. We want to brown this chicken on top, right? Yeah. You think I can pull yum. this off? I think I'll you can get them all yum. in there. I think, you think we can do you it? You did it. You got them all in there. I'm we hungry. We got one to yeah. go because we need all we can handle because we're right. all starving. All right, so now what are we going to do? What are you going to do, Papa? Oh, uh, what do you think? You're going to season it What's up. What's this? Oh, pepper. Pepper and knife button. I don't have my telecherry pepper out here because Glenn, I think Glenn called. Stole it. I think he came through the window last night and stole it. Your I pepper? I can't find any of my telecherry huh. pepper. He loves that stuff. We're going to take a little bit of poultry seasoning, put on here. All right, so we've put a little bit of pepper. We've put a little bit of poultry seasoning. I'm just going to a little bit more thyme on top of that. What is thyme? Like, what's that made of? Thyme is a plant. It and then, you know, like we grow it back, like our basil. Oh, and it has a wonderful taste and smell. I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic, just a little bit of garlic. Now all our vegetables are in that hot. What's garlic called? Garlic is garlic. Now what we're gonna do? Look at that. Anything else you can think of, Nikki? We should no, put on it. No, it looks so good. Papa. Let me smell. How oh, is it? Oh my! We're just starving. Oh my! Can he smell, Papa? Yeah, he can smell. All right, you can go smell. Can I smell? Yep, yeah, you can mm -hmm. smell. Go ahead and smell. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> is it good? So now Yum. remember, when you're cooking, if your water's already hot, if your liquid's already hot, if your broth is already hot, your vegetables are already starting to, starting to, cook. to cook. So it's cooking already. We're going to put our top on. Yum. We're going to walk this over to the fire. We're going to set this right over here, not on the hard, hottest part of the fire. Now here's the time. We've been around, we've been doing this a long time with you guys. Here's the time we start thinking about eyeballing it. All right, remember we put X amount on the top, X amount on the bottom. I want this hot. We know the vegetables aren't gonna burn because we've got 64 ounces, 64 ounces of liquid in there. Oh. We've got a lot of heat on the top. That chicken's gonna cook on the top. The juices will flow into the vegetables and we shall have a wonderful dinner in just a little while. Now I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I'm gonna check that in about 45 minutes to see where we're at. I gotta tell a scary story though. When we went out into the desert to get the prairie chicken, you know that, that crazy trip we took and mm -hmm. we ended up in, in the uncovered wagon. It was hot there too. Uh, you remember when the wolf came towards us and attacked us? And I grabbed the wolf around the mouth so he couldn't bite us. And I talked to him and I said, listen wolf, I know you're the great spirit ping a ling a ling long chicken mong dong. I'll take the chicken from you. That's what I said. So what I said to him in, in wolf language was, we are your friend. It tamed him down, it calmed him down, and it, we brought him on the set. He's not vicious anymore. He has not tried to attack us. And here, here's the major heavy duty wolf that chased us today and almost got us. You pet, you pet him, she'll hold him and then you pet him. The wolf's him. name, his, his Native American name is Jimmy. Jimmy. No, <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy is a what what kind of dog is he? He's a wire fox terrier. He is the sweetest dog and he's and he's yeah, hypo he's a wire fox he's a wire fox. There we go. So this is Jimmy, who today, earlier today, was vicious. Look at him now. He's sweet now, whatever you he's did. Calm. Oh, he's calm. He loves you. Down. Yeah, he loves it. He has not killed anybody today. No. 
I don't know what happened yesterday or the day before. But look at it. Yes, exactly. So this is their new puppy. In all seriousness, is he the best? Is he the best puppy ever? Here's just a little clip when they went to get him. And this little cat right here, they go to open the door and he says, "He loves me. He loves me." <laughs> you know it, man. Yeah. Ah, you're it's such a cowboy. Like I don't believe you. Like you telling me a story. Yeah. All right. You know what? <laughs> what are we here for this weekend? Yeah. Who's who's getting married? <gasps> what about Jimmy? Can Wait, Aunt Victoria and Uncle Nick. All right. So we're gonna break away for a minute. We're gonna let this cook. When you start seeing smoke coming out of the side, when you start seeing steam coming out of the side, and you start smelling that wonderful stuff, you're gonna know it's getting ready. But first. So let's see what this wedding thing's all about, and let's go see Nick and Vic. Did they tie yeah. the knot? We'll find out. Now what I'll do is I generally have two meat thermometers. Right. So I want to check to make sure, especially with poultry, I want to make, make sure, sure it's done. So I took the top off, I checked one, I checked the other. When I was very satisfied that I had 175 degrees plus, 
on the chicken. Yeah. And you notice I really piled it up on top. You did. So how can you have the moisture yeah. from the bottom, the right. steam that's cooked at bottom, and you have a brown top? Is that possible? Um, what do you think? Do you think we could possibly have all that in this little pan over here? I'm excited. Yes. Let's see what happens when I pull the top off. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Wow, look at that. That looks delicious, now, Papa. Yeah. That is what we call common sense. You just, you just watch your dish when it's cooking. If you see that you're cooking your dish and you see that we got a lot of steam coming out the sides, we know we got a good boil going. If we have too much steam coming out the sides and it's leaking onto the fire, that means you might want to bring your temperature down a little bit. You don't want all your juice to go out, do you? No. If it boils too hard and all that juice goes down in the fire, then everything's going to burn. So now we have this chicken that's brown on the top because we Yum. put the heat on top. It's not going to hurt it to check it every now and then. I got a question. Yeah, what's your question? I got a big present coming and it's going to be a giant robot and I'm going to own it and it's going to be professional. Wait a minute. A giant robot? Yeah. Who's getting it for you? Santa Claus? Yeah! But, oh it's, but it's a giant robot, like bigger than the one you have? Yeah! That's his question? That's amazing. Yeah, it's big. Like What's it. the chances that you'll let me play with your giant robot? Can I play with it too? Yeah. I love robots. He's robots a... can't make chicken though. No, they can't. That's the only thing about robots. that. Robots can just... make chicken. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now watch Let's this. Eat chicken. I'll tell you who can cook chicken is cowboys. Now I want you to look at this. Look at this. Chicken. This wow. is brown on the top. Now we know that at a real hard boil, our vegetables are going to take what a half hour, Mrs. Farmer, yeah. to get them good and done. Yeah, half hour, an we hour, some... if you an hour, good. So here's all our medley of vegetables over that here, Mrs. So Farmer. Good. Okay, let's see if it's cool enough to take a bite, Mrs. Farmer. We're going to try it, and then we're going to hand some out. We got to make sure it's yeah. make sure, it's make sure good, it's good, Grandma. You go ahead and see. <laughs> Let's try this in front. Look how moist that is. Look how it's falling yeah, apart. Let me make sure it's, it's literally good first. falling Ooh. apart. Now it's look at that. It's falling apart, good or bad? It's good. Now That's exactly bite. what you want. What's that mean? If it's falling apart, it means it's super tender, super moist. Take a little moist. bit. You want to bite all that? Is it hot? How is it? Hot. hot. It's really hot. Mm, -hmm. mm That's good. Mm -hmm. Try it. See if you like it. Oh my. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. I want to bite from oh my goodness. You want to bite from mom? Mm -hmm. Mm. Try this, Darren. Is it yum hot? chicken. It's delicious. Just blow oh, it up. Is it this hot? is yum chicken, it's Papa. Not too bad. Papa, this is yummy chicken. It's yeah. yummy, isn't it? Let me get a little bit of skin, Taryn, because it's good. Try that. Try the chicken. Can blow I try? on it. Blow on it, real good. Can I try? Want to try a carrot? No. You like carrots? No. Oh, they're good for you. No. Do you like carrots? No. Mm. The oh, vegetables yeah. are done. Oh, those are I good. Want mm. like chicken you want my chicken? Yeah. So. Less than an hour, we had this ready to go. Now everybody's chowing down. They are. We got to get your mom and dad signed, but remember. Your fork. You don't like it? This show is almost up, Nikki. <laughs> and if you wanted more recipes like this, Ms. Farmer, where would you go? I go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Is that where the giant robots are? That's where the giant robots are. And you can get all your recipes there, too, and big robots. Uh, monster yes, robots. Your baby robots. Robots a big, giant present. Uh -huh. I'll it for Christmas. Well, you talked to Santa today, so I think he's on his good side. Yeah, that's right. He's going to drop it off. That's what I'm saying. He's going to drop it off right down your chimney. Yeah, it'll open it. It'll be amazing. <laughs> it'll be amazing. So you can find that out. You can find that on YouTube. Giant tree. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you know what else, Mrs. Farmer? What? If you wanted to go check us. Say you want to check out our Facebook page, right? And you wanted to be one of our friends on Facebook. Is it highly improbable? That it's you really could hard. Do it? How do you do it? You say, say hit like, say like, say like. You hit like. You hit like. That's you all got you it. do. You hit like. Like you like huge robots. Yes. You yeah, just hit I like. Right. And he owned a big present and a big giant tree and he'll hold it and he'll open it. And, and take that ribbon. And it'll be happy, happy, joy, joy. That's right. Everybody be happy. There'll be <laughs> love. And this time we'll probably go ahead and tell you that it's all about giant robots, good times, good friends. And good eats. We'll see you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Let's eat. Now we can finally nah, eat. Do you want to eat? eat? Hey, what if we had a giant robot to eat with us? Oh. To order a cookbook, please call 502-319-0487 or email timfarmerck at gmail.com.